The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, Exer kicked my butt because I brought along a stupid party. I brought along Bowser and Mallow. Yeah, that was gonna work. Hey, Dre, you wanna clap? We should clap. All right, let's clap. Okay. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. I'll let the, that part out, of course. In case you're all wondering what that was about, it's just to get us all in sync because... Because. <laughs> no, well, the reason should be obvious. You know, to get in sync. Yeah. And at this point, I'd be tempted to sing one of those terrible boy band group song, songs by NSYNC. Oh, like this? <laughs> I want it that way. <laughs> Tell me why. Uh, what, there was a parody song that was really funny. I can't remember. From Weird Al? Yeah. eBay. That's what the... What I'll buy on eBay. <laughs> just the way he ended that song. It's just really milking that last note. Wow. I think um I think that Gino's Gino beam is gonna be very useful for this fight. Compare 300 damage with Geno Beam with 100 for his regular attack. And it doesn't cost a lot of freaking FP, so... Is that Flower Point? Flower Point yeah. is your MP. And, uh, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, the way, um... The way, uh, Mario RPG handles it is that uh, it's a pool. Stop crumpling paper by the mic. Oh, my bad. <laughs> but, uh, the way uh, it handles in Mario RPG is, uh, it's a pool. You have 99 flower points, and everybody uses that one pool. So, if something costs something for Mario's, and then that much is taken away, and then Gino can use from that pool, and, you know, it's, uh, huh. it's different. And it, you gotta, you gotta kind of figure Stop it out it. differently, because, you know, usually, like, well, I have 99 MP, and it takes 20 MP to cast Luminaire, so I can do that four times without having to use it. And, but now you got to configure, you got to think of it differently because that means Mario can use this, Gino can use this, but Peach can use this. And you know, before I have to. I guess that's good for like a one-time idea. Yeah. That's Otherwise, it doesn't make much sense. No, no, he's dead. no, it doesn't. Ooh, Gino, you got smacked. Yeah, comeback. This is gonna go so much better with comeback. Dukes of Hazard Cash Train. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, pick me what? up should only be for Peach. Yeah. <laughs> you got that song stuck in my head now. Yeah, I know. It's stuck in my head too. <laughs> From that worldwide garage, the Dukes of Hazard. Hey, a Dukes <laughs> of Hazard ash tree. I got on eBay. Wanna buy? <laughs> oh wow! Man. That hurt y'all's ears. Yes, I imagine. I hope you didn't have anything glass nearby. <laughs> Just... Oh, that's okay. You're. Voices are going straight into my one ear. <laughs> yeah, your ruptured ear. Do you remember that little? I'm sorry, what? I couldn't catch that. <laughs> you know that uh, those little Nickelodeon wow. commercial breaks, you know? Yeah. Where it would just it would just remind you that you're watching the Nickelodeon network. Yeah. Do you know that one where it's like it had the fat lady doing the opera singing and the Viking helmet? And she's like, Yeah. Nickelodeon. Oh god. And like the dude's glasses broke. Look what you did to the spike on the audio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that right, audio cracked there. And then, there's a big old thick that line. wasn't even close to getting the right impression, but you know what I was talking about. Close enough. You know, I was I was thinking 
you mentioned that and it makes me think of the ABC kind of things they used to do the after these messages but uh but we'll right, we'll right back, back. Uh, Saturday morning cartoons yeah <laughs> after right. these messages be right back Xer take two I'll be back in a minute gotta use the bathroom alright I'll try not to break the mic as you leave I am now alone. Forever alone. <laughs> At least during get, a bathroom break. You need to get a portal gun so you can hold your own hand. <laughs> uh, portal. You think Valve will ever make a Portal 3? Huh? It's funny. Valve has made a lot of what? games. But they what? have never made a 3 anything. Hey, uh, guess what? What? You could put the left eye to sleep. Huh. What? Yeah! You put the left eye to sleep? Yeah! Hmm. Huh. Awesome. Great. Oh, wow. Oh, missed. Exor's protection is gone. I wonder what Condemned is supposed to do. Isn't that gonna wake up the eye? No, only physical attacks. Okay. I'm sorry, if I got hit with a fire spell in my sleep, I think I'd wake up. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, concentrated beams of lightning and energy. Man, you gotta admit, this game looks fantastic, like graphically. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. For, yeah, for SNES battles. time, this looked amazing. The whole 3D perspective. Get, get on these to like. Never Don't mind. care. I want to get in another he, of these. He's just gonna drop. No, she won't. She needs to give her own. She's not wearing lazy cell, so this is actually gonna heal a good chunk. Ah. Oh all right, no, all better. your buffs! <laughs> I'm actually tempted to use Geno Boost to raise Mario's attack. Maybe I can knock off 500. I'll wait until the Force is not protecting Exer anymore. The Force? The Force. The Force. As in, the Force. Yeah. Hey, who's looking forward to, uh, Star Wars Episode 7? Yeah? Not me. I am not looking forward to it, but only because I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Well, but... alright, no. But. It's, but you gotta look at it as it's the first Star Wars ever created. Without George Lucas. Without it. George Lucas. Uh oh, wait, I think I might have set off a firestorm. That's not necessarily a good thing because I just look at take a look at uh, Star Wars Episode One. They had that that style of the movie had Disney written all over it. Can you imagine? And I'm betting this will happen. Episode Seven will have another Jar Jar Binks. Oh uh, no! no I think no, he's been finally. dead for a long time. Awesome. Jar Jar Binks has been dead for a very long time. By I the mean, end another of one. Six. They're, they'll create he a new one. He can't come back in seven. <laughs> There we go, 546. Wow, 500. That's good. No. What? I didn't just walk in on what I thought I just walked in on. Jar Jar Binks. No, well, Dre's... Returning. Dre's suggesting that uh, Jar Jar would come... Or uh, someone like Jar Jar... Please, no. ...would come back in 7. I don't think so. Besides, wouldn't that have been a long time from... Yeah. Uh, it's gonna take place directly after Return of the Jedi, so uh, Luke Skywalker could be in it. Yeah, but they won't be it. Like, you can't do like he would look nothing like how. No, he no, did no. Right, what, no. Well, I'm okay, sorry. What I mean is that it's gonna be after. It's gonna be the sequel to Return of the Jedi. So, depending on how far in the future that is, 
uh, Mark Hamill could come back as Luke Skywalker as a master. Yeah, well, you, you gotta admit, I wonder what Mark Hamill looks like these days. I haven't seen Mark Hamill in a long time. Oh, he is, uh... Well, obviously well, he's, he's older well over 30 years a older. bigger than... Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the idea of Mark Hamill, or, sorry, Luke coming back as a master is interesting. And he can do the Joker laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would just ruin, like, your mind. Right. Yo, I, I would love for her to take it, like, make him an evil Jedi and just give him the Joker laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would be awesome. I would actually watch all three of those. Just be like, okay, now you have to kill Luke. It'd be Darth Vader all over again. It would be so dark, but hilarious, too. Just make, My just gosh, make no. like, Luke goes insane. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I gotta point this out. I know that we have gone incredibly off topic from what we're actually doing right now, but I really isn't have that to like the this. case the entire LP, <laughs> you, pretty much. But I, I want to say that that lightsaber fight between Luke and Vader was Which the one? the best sword fight in movie history. Uh, do you mean part from uh, part five or part six? Uh, part six. Oh, okay. You know when when you know the emperor's sitting there talking, talking to Grant. Luke, be like, "Yes, yes, let the hate take you," and you know, and he's sitting there. The the thing is, all choreographed fights look way too choreographed. Like you obviously know that this is meant to just look pretty, look impressive. Like yeah, you, look at yeah. all these flips, look at all these moves. Right? This is so right. fancy, but. Nothing is gonna have the amount of in like the amount of emotion as whenever Luke had finally gotten Vader to fall. Vader's just laying on his back, just holding up his lightsaber, just barely holding up Luke's attack, Timed and all Luke is doing is right. just wailing on him, beat after beat, and you're just like, oh my gosh, you feel how much he wants to just get him, you know? And, and you know what? That's uh exactly what was wrong with the prequel trilogy because even when uh when uh vader was fighting obi-wan he was they were still doing ballet ballet that's what you call it <laughs> they were doing ballet instead of act instead of actually being angry he was doing ballet <laughs> You guys got a little bit too much fanboy hatred for the prequels. No, I don't no, have. It's, I'm no, not no, a fan. It's like, it's, oh. it's like a, a dance more than it is a fight. I'm not Time even a, a big fan of Star Wars. I'm a big fan. I mean, it's it's all right. That actually brings up an interesting thought that I've been having. What if they had actually started with episode one instead of episode four. Would the first three episodes have the actual episodes one to three have been more beloved? I don't know. Probably That's a good because question. Because with the with the prequels, like if you saw Red Letter Media's uh, thing, after the first three, Lucas pretty much surrounded himself by yes men. Yeah. Because anybody who would be willing to tell him no, George, that's stupid. He fired. Immediately. So, yeah, so that's why the entire thing suffered. Because and that's why and I everybody was confidence. after that one dude got fired, everybody yeah. else was too scared to tell him no. Yeah. Cause everybody needs to work. Wait, he actually did fire somebody for telling him something yep. was bad? Yeah. He he sold it like like they had a disagreement. He was wanting to write something some way and he did it another way. And he's just like, nope, you're gone. Peace. So, well, you know, nobody... Like, and it's so funny because there's, like, these live action... Uh, or not live action, these, like, takes of people recording the creation process of the 1, 2, and 3. And, like, he, everybody's just, like, sucking up to him like freaking Hoover vacuums. He'd tell a joke <laughs> that wasn't even funny, and everybody's like, ha 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 Just, it's just... They better. Yeah. Oh it's crap! Ridiculous. Get, it's ridiculous. Get the healing going. But yeah, that 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 fight Luke had with Vader when he's just just wailing on him. Just this. It wasn't. It's the, technically it's the same quote unquote move over and over again where he's just like 
like leaning into it, just bam, bam. That that was the most emotional sword fight in movie history, really. All of the rest of it just looks like dancing. It shows all the emotion. Like he was so angry at Vader, he wasn't even trying to like use form. He was just yeah, wanting exactly. to wail on him. It wasn't about dancing and looking pretty and doing flip de doops and la di da's. <laughs> flip de doops and la di da's. Now, right. now I know yeah. I showed um, I showed you Lantis, and I'm telling just telling everybody else uh, that animated Clone Wars fight where it was uh, General Grievous, right? And he was fighting like the this bunch of Jedi, and he, oh. Mm, that's so good. He he destroyed like everybody. And weren't the yeah. Jedi like legitimately scared of him as they yes. should have been? Yeah. Because he had already killed like five or I think it must have been like three at the time. He had already killed like three other Jedi's. You know what? I I really hate how in the later movies, like the Jedi feared nothing. It took all sense of urgency away from it. The fact that Jedi's being as powerful as they are actually being scared of something puts a lot more weight behind yeah. the bad guy. And and then if you look at the movie, the uh, Revenge of the Sith, then General Grievous is just like a, and he's a some joke. random guy who didn't Like, Liam didn't Neeson's matter. character just was like, oh, hey, big guy, what are you doing? Wow, you have a bunch of arms. I better take care of you. He's not scared. He's not worried. No, he, he didn't... Liam Neeson he treated him like, movie, like nothing he? happened. Uh, Liam Neeson fought General Grievous. He's the one who... Uh, I keep saying Liam Neeson. <laughs> like, that's the name of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Qui-Gon Jinn fought General Grievous and won. You, you know, they, they made a huge mistake by killing Darth Maul. General Grievous was the giant droid. Yeah, he, he was the forearm droid. I thought he was in I thought he was in the third one. That was it. Yeah, he, that, that was it. Yeah, and, that's when Qui-Gon was... ja died. The Darth Maul in the third one. It should have been no. Darth Maul in the first one. Darth first Maul time. should have lived throughout the entire yeah. trilogy. He was in the first one, too. Huh? He wasn't alive in the third one. He died in the first one. No, he I know Darth that. Maul, remember? I know, but what I'm saying is, he should have lived. They should what? have not killed him in that one. I know, but I was talking to Lantis. Wait, who, uh, who killed General Grievous? Obi-Wan. 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 Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? Right. <laughs> Duh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yep, I gotta use a Kirakula now. Really? He's about to use some ultimate attack. I need to heal M MP. Whatever. And you oh, free, and there's a freebie, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's a chance. Any item you use, there's a chance that you can get it back. Just for Also, reason. I think I figured something it's out. Rare. He still does uh, lose his defense whenever you knock out an eye, and then he can't bring it back until the eye is revived, it seems like. Sword sword. Well, so they're nerfing the fight. Oh, Dang. wow. And that is why I used a Kirakula. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? Good call, and you got it back anyway, so whatever. It seems like quite a challenge. You mean a challenge? Yeah, do challenge. not challenge him. Do not challenge him. Challenge? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> oh, Dre don't know? <laughs> yeah. Well, in the Expendables 2, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme is in there. And you know how his, uh, he, what is he, Belgium? I th he's, think he's Belgian. I think he's from Belgium, right? So he, obviously he has a bit of an accent. So, well, what, what do you call what do you call somebody who's from Brussels? Brussels sprout. A <laughs> uh, 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 Brussels. That's so lame. I don't know. I think he's from Brussels. Brussels. All right. Well, it's either. All right. Well, if he's from. Well, anyway, he's got an accent. That's what we're getting at. And one of his lines. <laughs> Had something like along the lines of uh, "you shouldn't challenge me," but he said "challenge," hmm. <laughs> and they're like, they, and it's like they didn't think. You know, we should probably retake that line. No, no that was his best line. I've never, <laughs> I never felt so raped by a line before in my life. <laughs> wow, was, <laughs> really that bad? It was in a very, very tender orifice of my body. <laughs> uh, challenge me. Yo, 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 yo. Um. I, I saw an interview with uh, John Claude, and he was like, Stallone was thinking about bringing bringing him back, but as his uh, twin brother. There we go. Yay! Oh, that... I sourced dead. 
So awesome. basically, uh, in Expendables 3, the bad guy is going to be John Gon Van Damme again, but he's going to be his... No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's gone! So you just get sucked into the sword? Yep, and that's yeah. how you get to uh, where Smithy resides. Yeah. So oh, another thing I figured sword. out. Huh. The skull on top had a really... Really devastating counterattack if you attacked him while he was protected. Ah. Oh. So yeah, um, we got sucked into the mouth, and had not had Lantis not spoiled it, that would have been a pretty good cliffhanger. But you know what? I'm gonna hang it there anyway. <laughs> oh, come on. Next time we are going to find out what happens once we fall inside. Well, we already know what happens. <laughs> dunna, dunna, dunna. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> It's over.